Hi guys, Dr. Sagar Abhi Chandani here and today we talk about a very common perception which exists when we talk about the word dentist. Yes, the topic for today is how to overcome the fear of a dentist. Fear is a perfectly natural human response to the threat of danger. In fact, it can be a key to your survival. But fear becomes a problem when it is based on an irrational perception or expectation of danger that is out of proportion. Dental anxiety is a fear some people experience when going to a dentist. It covers a broad range of fear levels. Two people could have the same dental anxiety, but one of them might get through their dental appointment while the next person's fear keeps them away from being treated by the dentist. We don't want to fall in the second category. So who is afraid of a dentist? I guess many. Who's afraid to sit on a dental chair? Almost every patient actually. So with the right strategies, your next visit to the dentist's office won't be that big hurdle. Dentistry has come a long way. It's gentler, less painful, more accurate and uses state-of-the-art tools. But despite such advancements, many people still fear the dentist. Why? Let's understand. Breaking down of the dental phobia is all about fear of the pain, loss of control, past negative experiences of the dentist and embarrassment. Fortunately, today's dentistry practices include gentle cleaning techniques, equipment, medications to make sure you feel as little pain as possible. Right choice of a dentist. Trust and sympathy are decisive criteria in the selection process. If you feel about not being able to communicate your fears and worries to your current dentist, look around for alternatives. Above all, ask friends and families for recommendation and then convince yourself personally. Positive mood. If you can't sleep for three days before going to a dentist's office, then you should definitely shift your focus. Deal with things that you enjoy. Go for movies, listen to your favorite music, meet up with your friends for dinner. Try to consciously distract yourself so you can hardly have time to think about your teeth anymore. Even if you're already sitting in the waiting room, you can still listen to some nice music. Tip, when you smile, the physical movement of your lips is automatically transmitted to your psyche. You cannot laugh and be afraid at the same time. The same goes for gratitude. Interesting. Regular visits. The longer you postpone your visit to a dentist, the greater your fear of the dentist becomes. If you go for a checkup twice every year, you worry less about your teeth. If you happen to change dentist, I would suggest you to make an appointment to get to know each other first. This will give you a feeling of your surroundings and the dental environment. The actual appointment afterwards will be more pleasant. Relaxation techniques. The chances of success are extremely positive that you will be able to get your dental phobia under control afterwards. Very few people really look forward to the day of their dental appointments. But if you are extra nervous, try the following relaxation techniques prior to your appointment. It can be meditation, light walking, yoga, calming trees, calming bath or just a massage. Hypnosis. Some dentists work with distraction mechanisms during the treatment for the patients who have anxiety. With music, movies, different comforting techniques of the dental team, your fear quickly fades into the background. So one of the best ways to calm your nerves is to distract yourself. Dental offices have books and magazines to pass your time, but you can do a lot more on your own to ease your worries by making sure you keep yourself busy in the waiting room. Draw, sketch, you have a lot of games on your smartphones, solve some crossword puzzles, knitting, you may want to bring a stress ball or putty to squeeze. You can also distract yourself during your cleaning or procedures by listening to music. The advancements coming out of dental industry are almost 
such to make the experience better for the patient. A smart toothbrush that cleans your teeth in 10 seconds means fewer trips to the dentist and less time spent when you are there. Digital X-rays allows for more thorough pictures, which means better fitting and more comfortable components while exposing the patient to lesser radiation. Contrary to what some believe, many dentists are people who take genuine pleasure in making other people happy. Experienced dentists use the following medication to reduce anxiety and control pain. Nitrous oxide or laughing gas. For intense teeth cleaning, your hygienist or your dentist may use anesthetic gels or special patches. If you are extra nervous, your dentist may recommend a sedative for your procedure. For fillings and other dental procedures, your dentist may inject a local anesthetic into your gums. If you are extra nervous, your dentist may recommend a sedative for your procedure too. Remember guys, be honest with your dentist. One negative experience can trigger dental phobia. Embarrassment is one of the main reasons people put off going to a dentist. And we all know what we want to do is to help you. If you have a good relationship with your dentist, it's much, much easier to talk about your dental phobia and eventually get over your fears. Hope now you will be looking forward and be less fearful to visit your dentist the next time your appointment is due. Dr. Sagar Abhichandani signing off. See you on the other side. Take care.